What's up, YouTube? Porky Jedi back with a quick video to take a look at my custom 1 6 scale shooting range. Let's take a look. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at the 1 6 scale shooting range available on occasion at BigBadToyStore.com. I was turned on to these by a video done by Jetta Patrol. I will link that video in the description below. If you're a 1 6 scale collector and you're not already watching his videos, I'm just really not sure what you're even doing. I say available on occasion because I've never actually seen them in stock on the website but they still have them listed and I know that's where Jetta got his after about six to eight months of checking the site fairly often I threw in the towel and took to eBay I didn't get any video of me putting these together or opening the box I'm gonna be honest I really didn't plan on doing a video until after I got these together and customized and I decided a video was a must okay this is how these are gonna come some assembly required pun intended you'll get the base two sidewalls a table a kick plate and two cross beams also included are several targets target stands and stickers the targets and stickers have more of a real world application so I will not be using those all right everybody here they are I picked up three of these I have customized them to fit my theme which is Star Wars I used my Cricut to print out some stickers and uh, threw them on here to make them more in-universe. Across the cross beams across the top, I put B1, 2, and 3 to indicate Bay 1, Bay 2, and Bay 3. Printed out some black Imperial logos, put them on each side over there. Again on the tables, uh, white Imperial logos. Across the bottom down here on what I'm calling the kick plate. Don't really know what that's called, but I'm calling the kick plate. It says firing line in Arabesh. Across the bottom on the front here, I have put caution in Arabesque. There is a bit of a step up right here. Don't want anybody falling and hurting yourself. So that's it. That's what I've done so far. And I think that's really all I'm going to do. I know that in Star Wars, typically we want to weather everything and everything Star Wars is dirty. Uh, with the exception of anything Imperial. Anything Imperial seems to be fairly clean. If you look at everything on the Death Star, it's all clean and pristine. So... I think I just might leave these as they sit. If I did anything, I might do some dry brushing and some silver here to make this look a little bit more metallic. If I do decide to do that, I'll definitely do a follow-up video so you guys can see how that turns out. I'm going to be displaying these in my Star Wars case with probably a couple stormtroopers, probably one on each side. Probably going to leave the middle one empty. I also have plans on 3D printing a gun rack that'll go over here to the side and hold some extra weapons, maybe some extra helmets. Uh, and that's how I'll be displaying it. All right, there you have it. There's my 1-6 scale customized shooting range. Are these a must-have for every 1-6 scale collector? I mean, that's really going to be up to you to decide. I will say the possibilities are limitless. They should be customizable for just about any generic you can think of. You can throw a Batman in there. You can throw a Hawkeye in there, a Robocop. I mean, and the list goes on. So I will say the only downside is these things are huge and they take up a lot of real estate. Uh, sometime down the road, I may actually end up cutting this down to two. Uh, but for now, until I get more figures and need more room, I'm going to go with the three and, and display them how they are. Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. If you liked what you saw, make sure and hit that like button. If you didn't like it, don't be a Karen and keep it to yourself. To see my upcoming videos, make sure you follow me and hit that subscribe button so you know when I post a new video. See y'all next time.